Colorado <laughs> settled in. Jillian's in San Marcos, Texas, hanging out with diving pigs and mermaids at the Aquarina Springs. Jill? I did tell a lie, Tom. We're actually going to be here with endangered species. Take a look at this. This is Spring Lake behind me, beautiful and tranquil. And inside that lake are five endangered species, four fish and one plant. These endangered species can be found no other place in the world besides here at Spring Lake. When we come back, we're going to find out what the people here at Ocarina Springs are doing to protect these uh, species which are on the verge of extinction. That's when we come back in a couple moments. All right, Joe. Thanks a lot. And loading the whole song. <laughs> Speaking of us 30 seconds, thank you for yeah. hearing that. Yeah. Yeah. This is her latest, it's uh, It Matters to Me, Faith Hill, our special guest today. Yeah. And let's go to Jillian now, Jillian Hamilton, who is with us in San Marcos, Texas, at the Aquarina Springs. Jill? Yes, right here behind us, me and Ron, is Spring Lake. And in this lake, Ron, there are five endangered species, four fish and a plant. Why is it important that we try and protect these species? This is the total world's population of all of these creatures is right here in the Spring Lake area. For over 60,000 years, 150 million gallons of water, the same temperature, same water chemistry has been flowing. Okay, you've created an exhibit right here. Come with me, Tom, inside so that the public could be educated and learn more about uh, the fish and the species. We're in the backside view of the exhibit. Tell us what you uh, are trying to obtain in this uh, exhibit. Each one of these tanks is dedicated to one of the endangered species. We have the ability to take the water out of their natural environment, flow them through these tanks, or should there be a drought, we can close this system and maintain these animals so that we can reintroduce them to the lake after the drought is over. Thanks, Ron. I'm going to meet you inside in the public part of the exhibit, but this is Lainey. Lainey, show us some of the equipment uh, back here and what is the uh, function it performs. Okay, well, we have a UV sterilizer that the water passes through, kills any microorganisms so that it doesn't affect the fish. The temperature gauge. This is a computerized gauge which maintains the temperature in each of these aquariums at the same temperature as it is in the lake. Okay, and right over here is a device that we can find uh, similar to uh, the device that we find at our pools at home. Right, this is a sand filter. Water passes through here. It's the first stage of filtration before it gets to the, the larger UV system. <laughs> okay, come on over here because we have a fountain darter in this tank right here, and you're about to uh, remove any exterior parasites that that uh, fountain darter might have on it. How are you doing that? That's right. I just poured formalin in here, and formalin, it kills any microorganisms or external parasites on this fish before we put it in with the other fish. Okay, thanks, Lainey. Back into the thanks. exhibit with Ron. Now, over here, we have, for example, the San Marcos Gambusa. Uh, very quickly, Ron, how did you recreate its uh, natural environment? This is an animal that lives at the top of the water column. They, they live very close to the surface of the water. And over here we have the fountain darter. How have you created its uh, natural habitat? The fountain darters is a creature that lives on the bottom of the water column and that they dart from place to place since uh, he, uh, that's where the name comes from. Okay, there's some other uh, species that we don't have the chance to look at, but very quickly, the plant uh, was in a species that we have to address. There's a scuba diver in here. What uh, function is he performing in the tank? He's actually an underwater gardener. What's danger in this, tra uh, this particular tank is the wild rice found only in the San Marcos River, eight times more nutritious than any rice available. Okay, thanks a lot, Ron. That's how they're working very hard to protect some of the endangered species here at Spring Lake. All right, Jill, thanks yeah. a lot. Cool. Cool. Bring back some of that formalin to pour on some of our one-way endangered space. warriors, tell us who's on tomorrow. We have tomorrow Chris Christopherson joining us and John Cryer. So we yeah. hope to see you as well. Have a great day.